hello to all in this video session I will be explaining on the first program in mobile application development laboratory which is a visiting card so the program states create an application to design a visiting card the visiting card should have company logo at the top right corner the company should be displayed in the capital letters aligned to the center information like name of the employee job title phone number address email fax and the website address to be displayed insert a horizontal line between the job title and the phone number so this is the um, title of the program the ui looks something like this where we have to have a company name in the capital letters then the logo of the company as you can see there are these two components are relative to each other so we will be having a relative layout and this relative layout with all other components will be placed over the linear layout so we will be considering for this program two layouts one is called as the linear layout and over the linear layout we will have relative layout the relative layout is going to contain two components name of the company and as well as the logo so for obtaining the logo i already have an image being stored on the desktop so i'll be using that for logo let us start uh, doing this uh, app development on the visiting card to do that we need android studio so we open android studio here it takes little time now click on new project select empty empty view activity click next now here i will be typing the name of the program will be i'll give it as first lab program and i say finish <clears throat> it takes little time to load all the packages that we are interested that we need to run this project so we'll have to wait and you can see in the status bar what are the applications which are getting loaded will be seen at the bottom and as well as on the left hand side of the screen you have the information that some certain packages are getting loaded so we need to wait till everything has been set now we are ready with all the packages that we want is made available to us now in this screen you can see two activities one is called as a main activity and as well as the other one with the dot xml now here we are working on kotlin so it is giving kt here uh, on the screen main activity dot kt and in the xml we'll be interested in doing relating to the design part now here since we have opened an empty activity so we already have an hello world text which is available and i don't need this so i select and i press delete button come to the code as we are interested in getting a linear layout and i don't want a constraint layout so we delete the information on the linear layout whatever is been given here and i simply delete uh, till the android and now i will be typing capital l and i simply select this linear layout so here we have the linear layout on to this design as you can see you have a linear layout over this which is being placed now i as i said i need to first have the company name and the logo for that we need to give a relative layout so i we select um, legacy in the palette we come to the legacy and here we have relative layout drag and drop the relative layout on to the linear layout go back to the screen because it is matching to the parent of the linear layout you cannot see so we change this height not to match match to the parent but we make it as 150 and i select this so we have it as 150 it's now available to us now you have the relative layout over the linear layout okay now i need to give the company name and the logo come to the palette in the text text view drag and drop here i have the object been placed let's increase the size of it 
Now this object I cannot move even if I am trying to move it just go, goes back to the corner. For that I need to apply the, apply the constraints. So when you take your mouse over this you have concentric circle like this. Drag it down. So this is going to help us in moving this object downward. Now I apply the constraint on all the four directions so I can move this object in the direction that I am interested in all the four direction I can move. Okay, so we have the text view object being placed in the relative layout. Now this should have the company name. So I go back to the common attributes that are related to this. And now I type DSATM on the text in the common attributes. Let's scroll down for all other attributes relating to the text. Now here we have, as I have typed DSATM, it comes here. I want it to be aligned to the center. So text aligned to the center of the, te of the text view. We need to make it all capital. So I give a tick mark here. Check this button. The color that we want, we choose the color. And the style, you click on the flag. We select the style of this and I say apply. It is bold and increase the size to 24. So I have DSATM text which has been placed on this. Now I need to have the logo to be inserted. For that, I have this here, object of the image that I want and I copy, go to RES package in the drawables, paste. Yeah, so it is asking where you want to paste here in the drawable. Yes, we select this first option and I say OK. The name of the image file, keep in mind that it should be in small letter. You cannot have capital letters nor uh, the numbers or any special characters should not be given when you are having the name of this image file. So now it is in small letter, it is fine and I say OK. Now in expand you have this image JPG being placed here. Now I have to ha uh, place this image. For that come to palette, common, image view, drag and drop in the relative layout. I select this image and I click OK. Again, we need to apply the constraint to this because it is in the relative layout. We get the option of the constraint and I move the object where I want to place it. Let us apply the constraint in all the four directions. So the object is being done. So we have applied. Once I apply the constraints, it has changed to the red color. So now these two components are ready. The next part is I need to draw a line to draw the line here we go to the palette in the palette widgets and then we have the view drag and drop onto this get back to the code in the code scroll down to see where is the code for our view it is here now in this we delete the weight First, let, let us work with the height. I don't want this to uh, wrap the content on this and I uh, reduce it. The height, I want to make it as 2 dp for the, to, for the line to draw. And then instead of weight, we set this, we delete and we go to background. In the background, I want the black color. It is set. Now we come back to the design. You still cannot see the line being drawn. To do that, come to the component tree, right click, linear layout and convert to vertical. The moment we click on that vertical, we set this attribute to vertical. We have the line being drawn um, soon after the company name and the logo. The next part is I have to give the name, phone number and other things. So we come to the text, drag and drop the text here. Let me increase the size of this and um, we have to go to the text information, change this. So I give the name as Rashmi 
Amardeep. Uh, we make it all capital letters, change the color of the text. I would, I'm interested in blue color and uh, we change this to the font size 24 SP. Then we want the alignment to be in the center. Okay, so I have Rashmi Amardeep which is placed here. Similarly, you can do the same by for your job title and other things. Come to the text, drag and drop, do in this fashion or simply go to the code and I copy this text where I have typed as Rashmi Amardeep. So this portion I copy and um, I insert the code here again. Instead of Rashmi Amardeep on the text side, I will be typing as associate professor, right? So when you come to your design also, it takes all the attributes that we have set, it is done. And in the similar manner, I give the job title is done. I simply paste this instead of Rashmi Amardeep, I will change this to phone number and I give the number that I want here it is ready so just cross check for your reference yes it is there and uh, we have to give the next one whatever what has been said is uh, email ID so I paste the code again and instead of me doing the entire design I'm simply copy pasting that and I type email as rashmi at dsatm.edu.in okay so we have uh, all these information that is needed and one more thing which is miss that we have to add is after these two before the phone number I have to draw one more line so to draw the line, we need to go for my view. So I copy the code related to the view and it should be placed after the associate professor. So I will have this view being done. When you come to the design, yes, we have a line also being drawn. Now in this way, the design part is run done. So we have we completed with the design. Let us run this by clicking on run app. It takes little time as it has to build the gradle and emulator will be ready. It takes some time to open up this as you can see in you have a run window and in the run window it is saying it is launching the app and now it is successfully fin finished. Finally you get a message here on this it is ready. So here is the output of this program. Now once it is ready, you also have the stop app uh, also been enabled, which was not there earlier. So you have your program being done. This is how you will be executing the first lab program on visiting card. So let's get back to this stop button and we are back to the code. Uh, before I wind up, first few things that I would like to tell you is there are two uh, tabs one is the main activity the other one is the xml so we go we are working only on the xml side as it relates only to the design of the ui so we come to the excel xml and in the xml we have three options design split and code so first few things we go to the design and then we have we go to the code where you can see xml code for the designing part are made available so we have a linear layout and as well as the relative layout all objects are being placed that is the na company name and as well as the image is there in the linear layout as you can see in the code here the linear layout ends then to draw the line we have written the code for view followed with that we have the uh, name of the person the designation then a line has to be drawn to draw the line again we have the option on view and then the some text are being placed ended with the linear code this is the code part of it and here all the design is available which will be done by using the palettes for every objects that we place here onto this in the attribute window we have the 
attributes related to the object that we have selected. So hope you all have learned this. Happy learning. Thank you.